Ever wondered just how much you truly know about the Dimorphodon? Let's embark on a journey back in time to explore this fascinating prehistoric creature. The Dimorphodon, whose name means two forms of tooth, was first discovered in the early 19th century by British fossil collector Mary Anning. Classified as a pterosaur, this flying reptile was a sight to behold. Picture a creature about the size of a modern-day hawk, with a wingspan of around four feet. It was equipped with a large head, short neck, and strong, robust body, making it a formidable presence in the skies of the Jurassic era. The Dimorphodon was believed to inhabit coastal regions, feasting on a diet that primarily consisted of fish and small invertebrates. Its distinctive jaws, filled with two different types of teeth, were perfectly adapted for catching and consuming its prey. But how much of what we think we know about the Dimorphodon is fact, and how much is fiction? Let's dive into the world of Dimorphodon and separate fact from fiction. The Dimorphodon, a name that strikes awe and curiosity, has been a subject of numerous myths and misconceptions. So let's get our paleontology hats on and debunk some of them, shall we? First up, the myth that the Dimorphodon was a dinosaur. This is a common mistake, but the truth is, the Dimorphodon was not a dinosaur at all. It was a pterosaur, a group of flying reptiles that lived alongside the dinosaurs. Think of them as cousins, if you will. This distinction is important because pterosaurs, including the Dimorphodon, had unique characteristics that set them apart from dinosaurs, such as hollow bones and wings made of skin, muscle, and other tissues. Next, let's address the myth about the Dimorphodon's size. Popular culture often depicts it as a giant, terrifying creature. In reality, the Dimorphodon was not as large as often portrayed. It was about the size of a modern-day turkey, with a wingspan stretching only up to four feet. Not exactly the towering monster some envision, right? Now, onto its diet. There's a persistent myth that the Dimorphodon was a carnivore that hunted and devoured large prey. However, the shape and size of its teeth suggest it was likely an insectivore or piscivore. This means it probably feasted on insects and fish, not on large, struggling prey. Its beak was well adapted for catching and holding on to slippery fish, and its teeth were perfect for snatching up insects in mid-flight. All these facts are backed by extensive scientific research and fossil evidence, which continue to help us paint a more accurate picture of the Dimorphodon's life and habits. And, there you have it, some of the most common myths about the Dimorphodon debunked. Remember, when it comes to prehistoric creatures, it's essential to separate the sensational from the scientific, because let's face it, the truth is often far more fascinating than fiction. So what have we learned about the Dimorphodon today? We've dispelled several myths, unraveling the truth about this mesmerizing prehistoric creature. As it turns out, the Dimorphodon was not the clumsy, ground-bound reptile many had imagined. Instead, it was a powerful, adept flyer, covering vast distances with its expansive wings. And no, it wasn't a dim-witted creature. Evidence suggests it had a relatively large brain, indicating a certain level of intelligence. We also learned that it's crucial to question commonly held beliefs and not simply accept every piece of information as the gospel truth. The world of paleontology is a vast, intriguing field, ripe for exploration and discovery. The story of Dimorphodon is a testament to this, a reminder that there's so much more to learn about the creatures that roamed our planet before us. Remember, when it comes to the world of paleontology, things are not always as they seem. Keep questioning, keep learning, and you'll be amazed at what you discover about these fascinating creatures of the past.